Hello and welcome to this Microsoft Excel video tutorial. In this amazing video, I'm going to show us how to write robust formulas to repeat all products based on unit sold frequency distribution. So let's get started. Now let's make sense of our data set and let's understand what we intend to achieve. Now in this data set, which is officially stored as an Excel table, we've got these four products, laptop, smart TV, furnitures, and gas cooker. So these are the corresponding units sold. And of course, that's going to give us the frequency distribution. Now in column D, we want to use the let function with index match lookup family functions to return all the products based on the frequency distribution of the quantity. And of course, we're going to do the same thing in column E using the let with xlookup function and of course after the end of the formula we're going to add this supplementary data into this main data set and we're going to see how the formula will update so without much talking let's dive in so i'm going to come to cell you know d2 and deploy the let function now by the way this function the let assigns calculation results to names which is useful for storing intermediate calculations and values based on defining names inside a formula so i'm going to press the tab key now the first argument is the name that i actually want to assign so i'm going to call this one p representing product so i want to assign this product here now this is structured referencing syntax which is peculiar to excel tables so put in a comma so for the name two i'm going to call this one q representing the quantity in column b put in a comma now for the name three i'm going to call this one v comma now i want to assign this cell above here which is d1 i'm going to hold down the shift key press the colon key and that's going to give me d1 colon d1 now this is going to be a placeholder which i'm going to use in the count if formula inside the let and the index match function so i'm i'm going to f4 key this d1 here F4 key to make it absolute. This is relative re cell reference. Put in a comma. Now, for my name for, I'm going to use result as the name and then write the formula to be assigned to that result. So I'm going to type in results. Okay, put in a comma. And then for my calculation, I'm going to use the index function. Press the tab key. Now, the index requires as the first argument the array that we want to return. In this case, we want to return the product. So I'm going to type in P because we have defined the name here P, comma. And then for the row number argument, I'm going to throw in the match function. Now, the match function requires the lookup value. Now, in this case, I'm going to use the false function comma and then for the lookup array i'm going to use the count if function which counts the number of cells within a range that meets the given condition or criteria press the tab key now for the range argument of the count if function i'm going to use this um v placeholder that we defined in this name three here so i'm going to type in um, v comma and then the criteria will be the product which is the product then i can close this for now i want to check whether it is equal to q that is the quantity put in a comma and of course for the match function match type so we want an exact match which is zero plus the turkey i can close the match i can close the index and then we are back to the left if i finish the formula i'm going to just wrap this index formula inside an if any function so if any okay so if this value contains any as a result of copying down the formula i actually want to return nothing so i'm going to carefully come here put in a comma now value if any we want to double quote with, with nothing in between close the brackets and then we are back to the let formula here and finally i can pass in this result in a so let me just copy this Control c i can come here and Control v and we can close the let formula now when i control enter this returned laptop that's amazing now let's drag that as much as possible okay all right so you can see we have you know three laptops based on the three quantity we've got how many you know smart tv four based on this now we have two furnitures based on the quantity and of course we have eight gas cooker we can see so eight and that correspond to the quantity you know sold that is amazing now let's see how to do the same thing using the let and the xlookup function so let's start quickly let 
Press tab key. Now for the name one again, I'm going to use P comma, and I want to assign this product in column A comma. For the name two, I'm going to use Q comma, and I want to assign this quantity here comma. And for the name three, I want to place order that is cell E two above. So I'm going to use V comma and click on this order on the shift key and the colon. I want to lock this section only. F four key to make it absolute cell reference. I can put in a comma and then for my name for i'm going to call it you know results comma and then my calculation will be in this case i'm going to use the xlookup function which is one of the new functions in excel so press the tab key now the lookup value in this case is going to be false just like we did with the index match comma now the lookup array we're going to use the count if function now the range is going to be the place order v comma and of course the criteria is going to be um, product i can close this bracket i'm going to check whether it is equal to quantity i can put in a comma and finally the return ad is going to be of course i'm going to return the product so i'm going to type in p comma now we want to undo the error once and for all so if not found we want nothing nothing simply means double quote with nothing in between close the x lookup formula and we can close the let formula control enter oops Oh, excuse me, comma. Now we need to call this result. So I'm going to just type in, you know, result name, control enter, and that return laptop. Amazing. Copy the formula down. Bam. We achieve the same result. You can see the same um, product based on the quantity. So now let's come here and copy these two um, items. Control C. I can come here, control V. And that's amazing. The formula update automatically. That is superb. So this is basically how we can repeat all products based on unit sold frequency distribution. Now, this is going to be the part one. In part two, I'm going to show you how to achieve the same thing using the power query. So stay tuned, like this video, comment, and share with your friend. And of course, subscribe to this channel. Thank you and bye for now. Cheers.